All right, so after my last video, uh, there was a couple questions just on how I wired up um, the VFD. So I will, in the description of this video, I'll link to a Google uh, Doc that includes all the parameters that I set uh, when programming the VFD um, to make this work. But ultimately what I'm doing is I did try to use the um, RS-485 ports on the spindle, uh, but I couldn't get communication to go. And, and I did see at least a few articles that, um, that had uh, similar results is just the, that um, just didn't, didn't work properly. So um, I went with an, uh, the zero to 10 volt setup. So on the um, VFD, basically the parameters that we're gonna set is going to turn the uh, AL1 port into a zero to 10. Um, and then the X1 is going to be a forward. Um, so basically between these two ports, the X1 will be your safety control. So unless you, you send an M3 command, the spindle won't turn on um, unless it receives uh, an enable command that sets X1 to um, forward motion. And then in the VFD programming, we're going to put a few pieces in there that, um, that set that as well. And so ultimately, all I, all I did is wired up my VFD as normal, um, as instructed in the manual. I'm using a 110 connection, uh, just for those that are curious. So I have 110 coming in, and I have the VFD uh, going uh, cable going over here. So the four ports that I used is the AL1, the ground, the X1, and I pulled a second ground from up top. Um, I could probably try a few different configurations, but that's what I ended up doing for the grounds. So the again, the AL1 is going to be your 0 to 10 volt. The X1 is going to be the relay enable pin. So then over on the X Pro V5, I've got the tool head board. So I've got the ground from the lower the the lower terminal block um, next to the AL1. I'm using the AL1 goes in here. This is the ground from that lower block. Then over on the relay, so on the relay side, I have the um, X1 is the red jack here, and this is the ground from the upper um, relay board. So basically, this is the X1. This red cable going to the relay is the X1. Here, I'll zoom out just a little bit. Move that. So AL1 from here goes into the tool head. The X1 goes into the relay, and then a grounding cable um, from the spindle to both of those. Then in the um, GRBL software, I set my spindle type to PWM. And then on the X5, I made sure that it's not set to the RS-485, but set to PWM. So with those things set up, then when I issue the M3 command, um, it sends, the, it turns the relay on, which sends the X1 run, and then the um, control of how fast the spindle com runs, how fast it spins, is done using the zero to 10 on the X, uh, sorry, the AL1 port on the spindle. So hopefully that makes sense.